Come check out this week's build showcase with this 2021 Chevy Suburban for Atlantic Ambulance. We're checking out this 2021 Chevy Suburban for Atlantic Ambulance. What we've done is it features sound off signals blueprint. We've got four inch M powers in the grill. Headlight flasher currently on park. We have M powers along the side. So we've got a front fender, mirror, rear bumper, and roads light bar up top. Dual color, white override feature on all the lights. With blueprint, we're synced all of our patterns, we have the link module, and we also have the sync module. This vehicle is one of four vehicles that we're currently building for them, so all the vehicles' flash patterns are gonna be synchronized when on a scene to help calm the chaos. Vehicle wrapped to match the existing fleet, so everything looks the same. What you'll notice up top, as you've seen with some of our other paramedic vehicles, we have a Dometic rooftop air conditioning and heating unit with a custom designed interior headliner adapter to make sure that it is a clean finish on the inside. Taking a look at the back, eight mod sound off signal chimsel, white override amber arrow, and powers on the rear. You can see the rest of our graphics package in the back. With our hatch opened, and powers on the rear hatch. We've got technique lights throughout the cabinet, so we've got them on the hatch. We have them up top on the headliner to light up this upper area, and we also have them in the compartment. We've got full depth drawers for restocking, and then our other drawers are 3 16 aluminum, full extension, 600 pound drawer slides. We had to do them out of aluminum to help maximize the space inside the vehicle to make sure all of their equipment fit. And you can also see we've got a 110 outlet installed up top there. We've removed part of the second row seat in order to give them additional storage. You can see we brought another Technique indicator light on the side, custom designed side door cabinet. We have Technique lights in the back corner to illuminate the compartment. 110 12 volt USB power, adjustable track shelf. We have a cover that covers up the backboard storage that extends out to it. It's removable, so if something does get stuck back there, you can actually take it off and clean it out. Replacement mounting platform for the cabinet. Second row seat we left in, the smaller 40 section. Two flashlights installed. And then you can see that this drops down, gives them access to the compartment that's below. Made a little bit of a uh, cargo barrier for them. And then all of our electronics are conveniently mounted underneath the rear cabinet to provide easy serviceability. Passenger side rear, 30 amp auto eject. This powers the air conditioning unit when it's parked, along with maintains the battery voltage. So taking a look at the cabin area, we have our radio speakers mounted up to the headliner to keep the console area clean and provides the best sound projection. We've custom cut in all their radios. Uh, their chassis are gonna be installed by their vendor. Uh, we've got 110 12 volt outlets up top. We've got our blueprint controller, armrest cup holders with our pen cutouts. This is one of our HDP consoles. These are very easy to wipe down and maintain the cleanliness and they'll always look good. And then we have the Dometic control on the side for the air conditioning unit. Now we have the vehicle in our drive response mode. You can see that we've added our headlight flasher, our light bar patterns change, we've added a little bit of white flashing to help provide a little bit uh, more responsiveness pattern to it. We'd like to thank Atlantic Ambulance again for becoming part of the 1075 family. We've got a couple more vehicles coming out for them and uh, we can't wait to show you guys what we can build for them next. If you have any questions about this build or a vehicle better designed to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out.